This video is going to give you an introduction to candlestick charts on TradingView. And by the way, many of you are probably already familiar with candlestick charts, but this video will be an introduction to them, why they matter, how to use them, and just a general refresher so that you're fully caught up on all of its features and capabilities. Now, it's important to know that candlestick charts can be selected from the chart type menu, which we've just opened up. And here are all of the other chart types that you have access to. And if you're curious about all of these different chart types, head to our help center or our YouTube channel where we have articles and videos about these chart types like candlesticks and like we're doing right this instant. Now, each candlestick chart that you open up will be dependent on a few key things that you have selected. Those things are your time interval and of course the symbol you're looking at. So for example, right now, our time interval is set to 10 minutes. That means every candlestick that we see on the chart here is showing 10 minutes worth of trading. And a new candlestick will be formed on this chart when the next 10 minutes come up. So this time interval feature is quite important to know about candlestick charts. So if we click one day, well, now this is a daily chart. And that means each candlestick that you're looking at on this chart represents a full day of trading. In fact, you can even see that by watching the dates down here at the bottom. So this candlestick right here says Tuesday, the 2nd of July, 2024. Well, you can probably guess what the next candlestick is then before it. And it's Monday, the 1st, July, 2024. So as you can see here, it represents a day of trading. And you can test that just by hovering your mouse over each candlestick to see the time on it. And if we go to 10 minutes, well, now each candlestick shows 10 minutes worth of trading. And we can see how this price action has unfolded every 10 minutes. Well, now let's get into the finer details of candlestick charts so you know what you're looking at entirely. So this candlestick here represents 10 minutes worth of trading, and it shows us some very important data points. First of all, a candlestick does get its name from looking like a candlestick to some degree. Also, it was invented many, many years ago in ancient Japan, and so it has stood at the test of time. And the reason why it looks like a candlestick is because it has these wicks. So you can see the wicks here. These are the very thin lines. And then it has bars as well. And those bars are filled in green or filled in red. So here's a red bar and here's a green bar. Well, actually there's many consecutive green bars until this red bar. And the bars are filled in red or green depending on the open or close of that specific candle. And we're gonna go through that. The first thing though to pay attention to is that a candlestick does show quite a bit of information in it. In fact, when you look at this candlestick, Actually, let's pick this one here. Let's pick this one here. See our mouse over this one because it has longer wicks. You can see the wick up here and the wick there. And the reason why we are going to focus on this one is that there is an element of essentially understanding the open, high, low, and close. So when you go to a line chart, you only see one piece of price information. And if we double click, we can see that's this price source close. So each plotted price point on the line chart is the closing price of that time interval or 10 minutes. But candlesticks show us the open, high, low, and close. So the very bottom of this wick shows the low. The very top of this wick shows the high. And then, of course, if the candle is green or red, you know where the open was or where the close. Because this is a green candle, that means the open was down here and the close was up here and thus it's filled in green. This candle is already filled in red and that's happening because the open was up here and the current price is below it, so it's red. So whenever you see a green candle, you immediately know the open is down here and the close is up here because that's how it's green. It went up, it makes perfect sense. The open and the close, compare the two and if the close if it moved up since the open and the close is higher, then it's going to be green. The opposite is true if it's red. And the reason why candlesticks are quite important is because you can still see the high and the low. So you have four data points to observe in each candlestick. These are rather important candlesticks to observe. And as you can see here, once you have candlesticks selected, you can also double click on the chart to customize this. So you can customize the color, look, and feel of your candlesticks. The green means that it, the candle was higher. 
and you can change those colors. Some people actually prefer not to even look at green or red. Some people might select blue and say yellow. So blue means up and yellow means down. Everyone has their own different framework for creating candlestick charts. And on TradingView, you can do just that. Now, it is quite important to know that there is a feature to color candlesticks based on the previous close. And we're going to look for an example on how to show you this feature by illustrating on this chart. Let's see if we can see some candles changing colors because this will be a rather important example. And what this essentially means is that it's going to color the candlesticks based on the previous close. Now that is important because essentially, and here's an example, we're going to show you an example. Let's say, for example, the price of Bitcoin, because we're looking at Bitcoin, opened all the way up here and then closed down here. Well, technically, it would be a red candlestick because it opened up here and closed down here. But if it closed still above the previous day's close, then, then it would still be green. And that's what color bars on previous close means. It means it's going to color the bar based on whether or not the price of the symbol was higher than the previous close or not. And actually, Apple is going to serve as a better example because watch this area right here, and you're going to see the candlesticks change colors. You see all the green that appeared there? Now you see the additional red. It's all not always going to be green or red. It's actually quite random. But the point is that when we have this box checked, it means even if, in this case, Apple had a red day, if it's still higher than yesterday's close, keep it green because it was still above yesterday. So if you bought the price yesterday and it closed up higher today, even though it might have closed lower than the open, it's still going to be green because it's, it went up compared to yesterday's price. So you have this checkbox as well whenever you are using a candlestick chart. So candlestick charts have tons of customizations and capabilities to visualize price according to your needs. And as always, you can double click and customize that entirely. Now, candlesticks also offer a very important tool in the indicators, metrics, and strategies menu. That's because if you go to technicals and click patterns and scroll down, you're going to have the capability to access candlestick patterns. Now, candlesticks have a long history in technical analysis and, as mentioned, go all the way back to ancient Japan. And for that reason, there are names given to specific candlesticks. That's right. People have studied candlesticks, given them names, identified them, written about them. And there are even indicators on TradingView under patterns, chart patterns, scroll down. Now we see candlestick patterns, and this will automatically identify specific candlesticks that might be meaningful to you. So right now we have all candlestick patterns selected, and that means the chart is going to be searching for all of the candlestick patterns that fit these types of patterns here. And as you can see, it does instantly identify these patterns here. So if we hover our mouse over, it says engulfing, engulfing, engulfing. This one says doji, and you can read about these specific patterns. So this one here is a doji. It says when the open and close of a security are essentially equal to each other, a doji candle forms. The length of both upper and lower shadows may, shadows may vary, causing the candlestick you are left with to either resemble a cross, an inverted cross, or a plus sign. So that's your doji. And if you zoom in, you can see the doji right here as well, like a plus sign. And this is, after all, one of the important features of candlesticks is not only do they show four pieces of information, including the open, high, low, and close, they also have this pattern capability as well. And you can either go study about candlestick patterns or utilize in the indicators, metrics, and strategies menu, all of the automatic candlestick pattern detection tools available to you. So if there's a specific candlestick formation you like, maybe you're looking for shooting stars, or spinning top black, spinning top white, three black crows, three white soldiers. Well, in that case, it's entirely up to you. All you have to do is click the specific candlestick you're looking for. So let's just look for dojis. We can click doji. We can see it's been added to our chart here. And now we can see the dojis with these icons right here and hover our mouse over them to spot them.
So this is the introduction to candlesticks on TradingView, and there are many more capabilities to learn about candlesticks, but this video was meant to just give you a brief introduction to candlesticks so that you know how to use them, where to find them, and read them. And probably one of the most important takeaways to remember is that a candlestick shows you the open, high, low, and close, and then it's filled in green or red depending on if price is above or below that open or yesterday's previous close. It's really as simple as that. So we hope that you enjoy this chart type and always remember that if you wish to utilize all of the other chart types, we've got videos, explainers, tutorials, and so much more on our YouTube channel and on our help center covering all of these chart types. In fact, there are different types of candlesticks that you can access like volume candles, which combine volume and candles together. You'll definitely want to watch that video to understand how to use them at the same time. There are also hollow candles, and there are bars, which can act somewhat similar to candles. And then, of course, candles themselves, which we've now walked through in this video. So we hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or comments, please write them below. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for more.